Alistair Cook was England captain, Michael Clarke was Australian captain, Pat Cummins was still in test match hibernation, and Ben Stokes hadn't really performed any miracles. July 2015. That's the last time James Anderson featured in an Ashes winning test. It's been 11 winless games, 9 of which have been defeats against Australia for England's Premier Pacer. In these 11 tests, Anderson has averaged more than 31 and needed nearly 90 balls for every wicket he's taken. Yes, it is a period where Australia have dominated the Ashes, but it's also been a period where Anderson has thrived and how to become world cricket's leading all-time fast bowler. Since 2017, Anderson has averaged less than 20 and struck at less than 50 against all other opponents. If you look at just home matches, the contrast is even sharper. On Australia's last two visits to England now, Anderson has featured in three games and taken only three wickets at a strike rate of 162. In the same period, against all other opponents combined, at home, Anderson's record reads 133 wickets in just 31 tests at an average under 20 and a strike rate below 48. Add all of that, plus just a three-day turnaround between the second and third tests, and it's a real likelihood that Anderson might not feature at Headingley. Question is, could we have seen the last of James Anderson in the Ashes? And at nearly 41 and with 181 tests clocked, how much more does Jimmy have left in the tank?